This is HSK2, lesson number 14, grammar point number one. We're going to study this particle in Chinese, Guo. We use it to express past experiences. For example, 我去过中国. I have been to China. Or, what is the same, I had the experience of going to China. How do we make the negative? We use may, this particle, to negate the past. So, 我没去过中国, I didn't go to China. What is the same? I never had the experience of going to China. What about the questions? 你去过中国没有? You went to China, didn't you? This literal meaning, but the point here is we are asking if a person has gone or not to China. Let's see some examples. 他们来过我家, they came to my house. They had the experience of coming to my house. 我看过那个电影, I watched that movie. 我去过中国, I went to China. Now, examples with the negative. 他们没有来过我家. They didn't come to my house. Here we have 没有, yo between brackets, because we can omit this part and just say 没. Both of them are correct. 我没有看过那个电影. I didn't watch that movie. I didn't go to China. So the point here is that never had the experience of doing this. Let's see some other examples now with questions. Have they come to your house? Literally, they came to your house didn't they? Ni Mayo. Have you watched that movie? Ni Mayo. Have you ever gone to China? Let's practice a little bit with some additional examples. I've seen this movie. Here we have Pu, which is the measure word for films, movies. They have not come to my house. Have you ever eaten Chinese food? 你吃过中国菜没有? I have never thought this question. 我没想过这个问题。Have you gone or not? 
你去过没有？